Hey, it's Mike Hambright from Flipner.com, and we have a quick VIP tip to share with you from Joe Fairless, who's going to share a tip on why it's okay to come in second place. So it's it's definitely okay to come in second place because the and when I when I mention second place, I'm talking about um, not getting your offer accepted by the uh, by the seller. Because sometimes when the offer isn't accepted by the seller and they go with another offer that seems more appealing, um, that offer isn't able to close or um, they don't close for whatever reason. So the, the seller actually comes back to you, the, the, the group in second place, and um, usually the terms are uh, definitely at the same level as when you offered, but usually you can make them even more favorable. So by coming in second place, you're coming out ahead um, better than what you would if you came in first place. Awesome. Awesome. Good advice. Uh, stay focused. And just because a deal is lost doesn't necessarily mean it's lost, right? Thanks for joining us for another Flipner.com expert tip. To access hundreds of tips and full expert interviews, please visit flipnerd.com or join us in the iTunes store. We'd like to thank our sponsors, realtymogul.com and National Real Estate Insurance Group. To access the most robust social platform in existence for real estate investors, where you can find off-market wholesale deals, find great vendors to help you in your business, and learn and socialize with other real estate investors, please visit the all-new flipnerd.com. If you're not yet a member, you can set up a free account in less than a minute. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of Flipner.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky.